In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly why I think having the Charles Schwab Platinum Card is better for you if you're trying to cash out your points. Coming up. What's up guys, it's Jay. Welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Also, be sure to smash that like button for that YouTube algorithm. Really gonna help out the channel. I appreciate it. And comment down below. I appreciate it, all right? So as most of you know, there's plenty of different platinum cards out there, you know, co-branded ones. You have the Schwab Platinum, obviously. You have the Business Platinum. You have the regular Platinum, which is just the regular one that you can apply with on American Express's website. And then you also have the Morgan Stanley Platinum card. So I'm gonna tell you guys why I think, you know, having the Charles Schwab Platinum card is the best if you're looking to cash out your points. So basically, we're gonna compare all the cards in a basically trifecta setup, okay? We're gonna base it off of 100,000 points and then what the cash out option would be okay so if you had the vanilla platinum or even the business platinum which does come with the $595 annual fee the business platinum does okay that one has an increased annual fee but if you have those and let's just say that we're going with the gold card and the green card right that's gonna be your trifecta as well okay now let's just say that you want to cash out a hundred thousand American Express points through American Express's portal now typically the way you get best value with your uh, points is using transfer partners that's how you're gonna get the most return on spend is utilizing those tra transfer partners most times people like to use their points for flights especially those long-haul international flights those are probably gonna be the best way that you're gonna use your Amex membership reward points okay now if we're using those hundred thousand points we're using those two platinum cards right because I don't believe that there's much of a difference I believe they say they have the same cash out rate okay which is gonna be 0.6 cents per point if you have a hundred thousand points you're only gonna get six hundred dollars back if you wanted to cash it out for the cash back value now that eliminates two platinum cards already as it is right there okay now we're gonna move on to the Morgan Stanley version now the Morgan Stanley version you do have to have an account with Morgan Stanley you do have to fund it with a minimum of five thousand dollars if you do not fund it with those five thousand dollars basically American Express is gonna close out your account and then basically it's just gonna be because you know you're trying to play the system and you know they're not going to you know reward you for you know not you know doing what's in the terms and conditions okay now Morgan Stanley you do get one authorized user free and then after that you're paying 175 for additional uh, authorized users but the cash out rate for this card is gonna be one cent per point so if you had hundred thousand points you're looking at a thousand dollars in the cash out rate okay now that's obviously gonna be better rather than having the vanilla uh, platinum or even the business platinum but you have to fund your that account if you really do want that card just to get that one cent cash back value which I'm sure you could transfer those points to uh, Morgan Stanley and use them towards investing with Morgan Stanley as well but one cent per point is not the best you can do okay um, so with my setup, if I were going to have the Schwab Platinum, the gold card, and the green card, I would get a value of 1.25 cents per point. Now when we base that off 100,000 points, you're looking at $1,250. So you're actually getting an extra $250 on top of that compared to you know that thousand with Morgan Stanley. Obviously, if you wanted to cash out those 100,000 points through Charles Schwab, you would be depositing into your brokerage account 12 hundred and fifty dollars so one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars would go directly into your brokerage account if you have an investor uh, checking account basically what can happen is you can also transfer from your brokerage account to your investor checking account and you can actually take that money out of the bank basically and um, I mean you can do what you please with it but I really do think that you're gonna get the most return on spend in terms of investing with Schwab or if you, you know, basically if you just want to cash out and just get a cash back value, you're going to be getting the most value with the Charles Schwab Platinum Card. Now, the only way that you can apply for the Charles Schwab Platinum Card is by being a member of Charles Schwab's brokerage. You just go online. I definitely recommend that you set up a investor checking account because it does automatically come with a brokerage account, okay? But you have to be prepared to also make sure that you're going to actually take an inquiry on your credit report. Um, it's about two points, um, which is not bad, but they do do a hard pull on your credit uh, before they, you know, uh, invite you to be 
in there. So once you submit that application, you're going to see a hard pull on your credit score. Uh, and I mean, there's really nothing you can do about it if you really want to get this card. All right. <clears throat> the way you apply for it is you sign into your account, you go to credit cards, uh, and basically they only have two options. They have the investor card, and then they also have the Schwab Platinum card. Now I have both of those cards, and um, I really do think that it's a you know it's a great setup if you're really trying to just focus on putting money towards investing and I really do think that's going to be the best route to go compared to the other the other three options that you're looking at you're looking at six hundred dollars for a hundred thousand points and you're looking at a thousand dollars now why wouldn't you want an extra two hundred and fifty dollars on top of that spend um, that you're normally going to do anyways right and it's not just from spending on the platinum card itself you can use your green card as well you can also use your gold card you can use any amex card that's going to earn amex points and basically all those points can get transferred into cash back value for 1.25 cents per point and you know for every hundred thousand you're looking at twelve hundred and fifty dollars so if you had obviously if you had two hundred thousand points like i did did keyword because i cashed out some of the points i did leave about fifty thousand in there but um <clears throat> if i if i still had those two hundred thousand points and i decided to go ahead and uh you know transfer all of them out i'd be looking at, at about two thousand five hundred dollars that i would have completely deposited in there i feel like this is the best card out there i definitely recommend if you're looking for a platinum card that you know you definitely decide to go with the schwab platinum card now it doesn't have the best sign up offer but i mean when you could take advantage of something like that i really do feel like um that is one of the best perks about the card just because you can use your points if you have no intentions of traveling or anything like that then you can use those points and grow wealth off of your points off of your everyday spend that i mean that's a no-brainer to me. If I can make extra money without even having to use my own money, why not, right? So guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this topic. Do you think the Schwab Platinum card is the best option in terms of all Platinum cards? I know there's other offers out there which would entice you to want to apply for a certain card like the 100,000 business Platinum offer that was out there. You know, sometimes MX, the Platinum card, can have a, a, a increase bonus uh, sometimes if you get lucky enough you'll get a hundred thousand uh sign up offer for the vanilla platinum which yes that is nice i definitely do recommend if you can get them all and then you know you know get rid of them after the first year you can keep your points just by holding on to this uh, schwab platinum card now let me know again let me know what your uh, thoughts are on this topic i really do think that the schwab platinum card is the best platinum card out there now guys if you would like to apply for any credit card that you had in mind please feel free to use the links in the description. They're really gonna help out the channel. I really do appreciate it, guys. I appreciate the support. Please also give this video a thumbs up. It's really gonna help out the channel, all right? Now, that's gonna conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found the information to be helpful, give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends, and don't forget to comment, all right? Also, Hit that bell notification so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. All right, be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit is your life, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hoot.